Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. It's already lesson seven, and three stone is left to finish the lesson 10. So today, you're going to learn a really good one, which is one of my favorite songs. Of course, in the same key and same note, but the range is a little smaller. It will be a little easier. So let's play the song. Now let's play a whole entire song in slow tempo. Ready? And find hand position in slow tempo. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. Maybe this part and shifting hand position from F to moving to G position and coming back to C again. So whenever your hands has to shift from one place to another, you have to be ready. Just mark it with your red pen and you have to know advance. First, look at the score. What do you find? Letters. How many chords are there? Three chords only. F, C, G. There is not many G's, but a lot of F, C, F, C, F, C. So basically this song is consists of F chord and C chord. Do you remember the F chord? We learned it from last week. F. So from C to top two notes going up, it's F chord. So there are so many F chords going F, C, F, C, F, C. So if you know the chords, it's easier to play it and it's easier to recognize the note because you know what kind of note will be there in the measure. Now, let's check the right hand first. Do you find a user note that we haven't learned yet? Yes, eighth note with the tails on it. That's the eighth note, which is half count. So it's faster than the quarter note. So two eighth note is the same as one quarter note. So when there is quarter note, one, two, three, four, eighth note go 
equals one, two, and three, and four, and it goes twice faster. And in this music, there's combinations of eighth note and dotted quarter note, which will be da 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 da, little longer, so da da. So it's kind of confusing, but the rhythm is keep using over and over again. So just only one pattern is there. Now let's see what kind of pattern it is. Quarter, ace, dotted quarter note. So it goes one, two, three, four. So actually right after two, you will play a C and then hold it until four. And then on fourth beat, you will play D. It's confusing, right? Let's see one more time. One, two, three, four. That's how it goes. One more time. One, two, three, four. If you remember the rhythm, it's easier because it has only one pattern and then the, the same pattern will be used over and over again. Let's try both hands together. Left hand is F chord, so it's C and F. A, but this A is played on right hand melody. So it will be like this. So five, two on left hand. Finger number one, A, with your right hand. One, two, three, play. One, two, three, four. In C chord. So left hand is only C and E, and right hand is a C. One, two, three, four. If you see it, left hand is literally C chord, but play it one at a time. And also, the C is doubled on right hand. And same thing repeated again, the next two measures. F chord, measure three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This time is instead of quarter note, it's just whole note. So you just keep holding for four count. And repeats again. Another F chord, measure five, F chord again, one, two, three, four. This time, instead of right hand, you play left hand melody line. It's a little bit confusing on the rhythm, but the same rhythm is repeated three times. Do you see it? So it will be okay soon. Now, moving on to the second line, C again. C is C G chord. In right hand, you play it from G to coming down. C G E C, and left hand is coming up from C E G. So literally play it. Mirror motions from outside to inside, coming up, skipping it, and then the next measure seven F chord. Same rhythm. But start on F, right hand, and left hand is C and A. Now, the F chord is C, F, A, but missing F is played on right hand, so that we know it. this is F chord. So you just leave it out, the F and the left hand, and right hand goes F, go. One, two, three, four, up to here. Next measure, G. How are we going to play it? Right hand is B and D. Left hand is G. So just G chord. If you're looking at the keys, G, B, D is a simple G chord, but played with both hands. So right hand plays B, D, left hand plays a G. And going down G here. Up to here is first phrase and second phrase will be just repeating from the first one f chord measure nine the same as the beginning first one one two three four one two three four the same thing one two three four one The same again. One, two, three, four, and C chord. 
What's the difference? Instead of G to G going down, it just repeats the same G. That's the only difference. Except this one, everything is exactly the same. And now the main theme is coming in. Most famous one. From this part, left hand plays the blocking the chord, which we just learned last week. C chord. And now final G chord coming. So how do you play a G chord? Top note is held, and bottom two note goes down, and C again, and F chord. How do you play it? This time, bottom stays, and top two goes up. See? So this line is C, G, C, F. Now let's add right and melody lines. Familiar tunes. One, two, three, go. Left hand has to be prepared for moving up to middle C position. From base C to your thumb, have to move it up to the middle C. So remember that. What are you waiting for? Four count, two, three, four. Your eyes have to be on the middle C so that you know that your thumb has to be middle C right after that. And then the next note is G to count. C to count. And right hand, the first space, which is an F. F to count. Step down, down. And do you see the little line tied to the next D? What is it? That's what we call tied. Tied means you don't repeat it, but you just keep holding for the next value. So the next note, if it's next note is four count, then you have to keep holding for four. So one, one, two, three, four. Just keep holding it instead of playing one, one, two. Okay, so basically you have to hold it for five counts, and left hand is playing G and B. So literally, it's going to be G chord. Got it? Now the next measure is eighth note again, with the little lines connected. That means just two eighth note at one count. So one, two, three, four. That's what is going to be the rhythm. One, two, three, four. Let's practice a couple of times this measure, then it will be okay. That's a pretty easy one. Now the very last line, right hand is on G. G to count, E to count. After that, left hand on middle C again with two A's note. One, two. Now tell me what kind of chord it is. F chord. Yes, it doesn't say yet anything, but this is coming from the F chord. Two, three, four. And then for the next note, it's the same A, but you have to switch to finger number one. So why are you waiting for three count? Don't just wait, but your eyes have to be ready that you have to know that you have to switch into finger number one right away and your right hand is on F so one two step down two step down two one two and then again one more time C chord but your left hand has to be ready for the three notes one, It seems pretty long and confusing because of the eighth note and combinations of eighth note following by dotted quarter note. But it will be okay because rhythm is repeated and the phrasing whole itself is repeated again. How was the lesson? Was it really confusing? Maybe you need a little time to practice this one. Some people may need two weeks, 
some people may can finish within a week. If you finish within a week, then send me the recording. I want to hear how you are playing. And I hope you enjoy practicing the song and we'll see you next week. Bye.